Hello there, my name is Leo, and today's video I'm bringing to you Amar Indian Cuisine in Banquet. Uh, this is a place that definitely looks great because love that they have um, buffet every day, right? Monday through Sunday, and obviously Monday through Friday will be lower cost than uh, over the weekends, but still, this is a place that definitely uh, would like to check out. Um, however, the reason of this video is to um, go over an ad that I saw on um, yeah, what's the name of the what's the name of the magazine? Your Town Monthly, right for the Fairfield area. I saw the, this ad. Um, they they offering final off coupon when you spend twenty five or more, or ten dollars off coupon when you spend fifty when you spend fifty dollars or more. And some other good deals right so you have this ad and what I want to go over this is that this is what a lot of people do when they see an ad right they go and they look at this place now the the offers may see really interesting the picture is really interesting now let me look at some more about Amar Indian cuisine Amar Indian cuisine right then what people will do is they go and uh, do a search on Google and see what else comes up right uh, for example I see the Yelp page comes up okay let's see on Yelp um, all right let's look at pictures or let's look at the reviews see what people are talking about here right and let's see mostly is there the mostly good reviews are the mostly bad reviews are people recommending something specifically or telling us to stay away from something um, let's look at the pictures see what sort of plates are the ones that ticks, sticks out the most Right, and perhaps that's an uh, indicator that I should try that first because people seem to love that play the most. Play the most, so that's what what people are doing, right? When when they see the coupon. Now, one of the things that they will do also is go to your website and check it out as well, right? They might see your Facebook page. They might, um, but eventually, at some point, they might go to your website as well. And where is the? Um, my suggestion here would be is that for any time you have your business out there online that you install what is called um, Google Analytics and even Facebook Facebook Pixel. The reason why is because all your ad is doing, let me go over uh, a business that I work with, kind of show you what I'm looking for. All your ad is doing on this magazine, it's sending people over to know more about you. Uh, where's the magazine? What do I do now with it? All this ad is doing, right, is creating awareness, creating curiosity as well, and uh, incentivizing people to come to your location, right? But at the same time, that curiosity leads them to visit you in different places. They may lead them to visit your website page, uh, to your your website page. They might lead them to visit your uh, uh, Facebook page, right? And so you, by not having this analytics set up, you are missing up on big opportunities. For example, um, this business I work with, right? It got a code. We have um, installed what is called the Facebook Pixel and the Google Analytics. And why we do that, you may ask yourself, right? One of the reasons we do that is, number one, is to understand uh, the amount of visitors we're getting on our website and where are they coming from, right? That's really important because if we're paying uh, for advertising, let's say from the magazine, uh, and we want to understand what type of return we're getting on that, right? Because otherwise, how do we know if it's working or not? Well, obviously, yes, we can identify if it's working or not if they bring this coupon or they mention they, they saw the coupon on the magazine, right? Um, but number two, um, that that um, magazine is creating uh, awareness, like I mentioned, and so it's going to lead people to eventually try to go to your website or your Facebook page. And so one of the things that we take advantage of on that is by installing um, the Facebook pixel or or Google Analytics is that we can then continue to advertise to those people and stay in front of them. So for example, people that saw in the magazine uh, and they look good and they went on, uh, online and um, they were checking out our website, 
uh, uh, you know, some of them may forget about it, right? May totally forget about it until next time, perhaps that they open the magazine. While with, for example, the business that we work with over here, um, they may look at a magazine, an ad in the magazine, or one of our flyers, or one of our ads somewhere else. And what's going to happen is they're going to come to the location, they're going to see our special deals, and that was going to lead them to, or and if they, for some reason, they forget, right, to, okay, yeah, so that I wanted to check that place, I see they have a coupon, let me, um, I want to go there. But let's say for some reason I forget, right, I had to go pick up my kids, and uh, I didn't have the time to go at that time. But what happened is, uh, because we know they visited our location, or Facebook and Google knows they visited our location, we then place uh, some other advertising that is called remarketing or retargeting. And so what those type of ads will do is they will, they will continue to follow people in different websites all over the Facebook, all over the Internet, creating this effect that um, people that were interested to learn more about us, right, they're going to remind us, they're going to, uh, our ads are going to remind them about, about us, especially if they don't know us. Um, right, we can continue to send offers to them. We can continue to send different um, uh, uh, specialties that we have. Getting to educate about our location, where's the favorite play, what are people liking over here, where are people saying, right? Those type of advertising, we continue to send those. But because what we're doing is called remarketing or retargeting, because whenever people come to our locations, um, we, Facebook and Google knows that, and so we are leveraging their tools to continue to follow those people all over the internet. And so we're just not paying for uh, uh, for advertising so that people can check us out. We also um, maximizing our advertising dollars by actually, uh, okay, you, you come and check us out and we leave you alone. No, we continue to follow up with you over and over again, right, with our advertising uh, using the remarketing or retargeting. Um, settings that we have in place. So that's my suggestion in reference to if any any time somebody is doing advertising to um, use these other tools to help you maximize your your ad power, okay, or your ad expenses. Um, hope that information makes sense. If for some reason you want to learn how to get all that set up, the place the best place to find me is come to my website, digitaltrack.co, right? I have the digital marketing agency here in uh, Solano County. And as you can see, my number is over here. My email is down there. Um, if you're curious to know what your customers are seeing online about your business, uh, you can complete this information. I'll provide you a free report and provide you some recommendations how to get those better. Uh, my social media is right at the bottom, so if you want to follow me on social media as well, you can do that. And another thing I will I will uh, ask so over here that perhaps this can help uh, boost your online presence, especially on Google, right? Is I went through I went to this website called yex.com, and what I did is I put your the business information, the phone number. And yex.com, what it's going to tell me is, okay, how uh, how many places is your business located that yex is aware of, but at the same time, how many errors are there in the listing? And the reason why that is important to go and analyze what uh, how many places your business is listed and if there are any errors or discrepancy is because, number one, it gives you an idea that, okay, am I listed on the best places? Do I have my business listed on the best places that I can be listed at, uh, right? Uh, for example, you're not going to be having your ad of a restaurant in the middle of, the, of, of a desert, right, where there's nothing in there, uh, especially if it's 500 miles away, right? So the similar applies to... Uh, this concept over here. So, for example, a restaurant, you want to be listed your business on, let's say, Angie's List or, um, you know, con contractors type of of websites uh, because it simply doesn't make sense for a restaurant to be listed on those, right? But, uh, it, it, but it, it does make sense perhaps to be listed on Foursquare or Merchant Circle. 
and it looks like we're missing some uh, it, it looks like this is opportunity that we're missing on because our website is not listed there or at least this is not finding this information now other thing we want to do is make sure that our business name matches everywhere right so whatever we set on google i would recommend to do that whatever we set on google whatever number we have there whatever address we have whatever um uh, phone number we have to make sure that we listed that the same way everywhere um and the reason why is we could, we just don't want to make sure we just want to make sure that there's no confusion with our clients when they are looking for when they are finding our information online. So for example, here's one that has 113. Here's one that has 1121. And I think um, both addresses are fine, right? But stick to one, right? Which one is it that you want people to, to know? Even if you have two locations, right? Is there one specifically? As a matter of fact, I would recommend whichever is the one that Google has, just copy the same information everywhere so it's not confusing. Even though they may get there, uh, that but having the, the different information just basically tells Google that it's a little bit confusing and doesn't know which one to show. And so for that reason, it may penalize your your listing um, when people are looking for uh, restaurant or Indian food in that area. Hope that this information helps you. If again, if for some reason you um, have any questions on how to do any of the, that we that I mentioned today. Um, you can come to my website, digitaltrack.co. Um, you can see you can reach me via phone, email, uh, go to the social media and um, look for, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. All right, bye. Have a good one.